What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, alright, let's do this right here. Uh, we're gonna be going to the gym now, because there's really nothing else that we could do here except just battle the Veilstone City Gym Leader. And we already met Dawn, she met Crasher Wake, and uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a fighting type gym. The best kind of fighting type. She has a, a nice wide variety of Pokemon here, and this guy's giving it a s advice about how to be a fighting type gym, or, yeah, fighting type Pokemon. Now, one of the biggest things, too, is that we have to move these punching bags to hit the, the, the tires that are surrounding this area right here. If you remember in my old Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, which is no longer, does no longer exist, it took me, like, about 20 minutes to figure this whole thing out. It really did. It took me about 20 minutes, but you know what? I got it all down. It's cool. It's fine. This will take me less than 20 minutes. It took me my, what, 10, maybe 13 minutes, and then after that, just beat the gym leader and all that stuff. So this place is a very, very good place to actually train Gaia number two and uh, defeat everybody right here. Make them suffer for Gaia number two's is suffering. That's right. The revenge tour right now. And uh, here we go with the confusion attack. And the good thing is that, hey, we powered up Gaia number two just a little bit. Now, that guy is confused. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. You gotta hurt yourself. No, it just throws a leer at me. It's all right. It just lowers my defense. Just one bit. So here we go again with another confusion attack. Eat it. That's right. The revenge tour of Gaia number two starts now. And uh, look at that. Hydra number four. Getting experience points. So we're going to continue on right here going up against Machoke. And uh, we better be careful because, uh, <laughs> you know, our defense has gone down. So what I'm going to try and do right here is going to power up Gaia number two just one more time. Hopefully we don't faint. There's that low kick, and takes quite a, yeah, it takes a nice chunk out of our HP, but here we go, confusion attack. Will it do it? Will it do it? It does. It's a critical hit. Eat it. That's right. That's how you do it. Guy number two is kicking some ass right now, so he's going to come out with another mod joke, probably stronger than the last one. Yes, that level 27, so let's go ahead and just finish this guy off with confusions. Don't want to risk another Calm Mind right here, and uh, that takes a nice chunk out of his HP, and here comes a submission attack using the walls of Jericho on me, and uh, Gravy. Revenge Tour Detoured. Okay. Let's go with Starblade. Okay, so that's one of the things that I have to worry about when it comes to my guy at number two. Defense. Lowered, or very, very low physical defense. I think that's with all psychic type Pokemon. And so here we go, Aerial Ace for the win. That's right. Another victory for my Starblade because he's awesome, just like that. Mm hmm. Okay. And uh, there goes Black Belt Kobe, Cody, or whatever your name is. And, uh, all right. So what's next? Uh, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because why not? Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Now, uh, my Pokemon, I did teach some of my Pokemon some new moves. So if you guys see a different move on, let's just say, Gaia number two, uh, Hydra number four, then you know what? It's probably because off screen, did a little bit of training, may or may have not teach, uh, bought a few TMs here and there, taught them a few new moves, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Donatello's next, and uh, let's solve this puzzle right here of the. Uh, of the surrounded uh, gym right here. So let's go ahead and press this little thing right here. Boxing. If you guys don't know, boxing is one of my favorite sports. And, uh, okay, so we move that. And now we're going to have to move this little bastard right here. Okay, and there we go. No more, no more tires. And somebody's waiting for us right here. And this guy's like, okay, so he's a, he's a karate black belt. He wants to battle me. He will destroy me. Not really, but he will try and destroy me. And uh, he comes out with his Machop, and I could have I could have used my uh, my Curlier right here, but yeah, I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. So here we go, Razor Leaf. Hopefully that's a critical hit. And no, that is not a critical hit. And why do you guys always start with Foresight? I don't have Ghost Sight Pokemon. What the hell? And uh, here we go again, Razor Leaf for the win. Oh yeah, say goodbye to Macho. Alrighty, okay, let's go, let's do this. And 
She's gonna be coming out with a Meditite, so let's go ahead with Starblade right here. Now, Meditite is one of them uh, curveball Pokemon that you'll normally see here in a fighting type gym. It is both a psychic and uh, fighting type Pokemon, so the best way to defeat a Meditite or its evolved form Metacham flying type Pokemon. So here we go, Aerial Ace for the win. Bye bye. That's right. Meditite just defeated. Oh yeah. And uh, okay, so he's coming out with a Macho. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. I will be risking it because uh, you know. Guy number two needs to evolve eventually. Not into Gardevoir, but, you know, into that other Pokemon. You guys know what I'm talking about. So here we go, Confusion Attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? No, it, uh, it takes a lot. Okay, so it's not super effective, but it, good God, these fighting type Pokemon have a lot of power on them. And, uh, okay, so we'll almost make Machoke faint. And this guy, using foresight. Well, ain't that nice. So here we go. Confusion attack for the win. That's right. That's how you do it. That's right, guys. Thank you. I'll be here all day. All week, I should say. And, uh, all right. Hydra number four, getting some experience as well because, you know, it, it, it should. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so, you know what? I'm just gonna move ahead right here. And I can't move that. So I can skip ahead and actually use this to break that and break the other side right there. Okay. There we go. That's one slot. Now we have to move it into the next slot right here. And uh, so we got a clear path to the front right there. And it breaks that. I think that was the, the area that I mostly got uh, wrong when I... When I first did this gym back in, uh, what was it, 2013? Holy crap, that's a long time. So here we go, he's coming out with a Krogunk, and I'm coming out with Donatello. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna risk it right here, because it is a Poison-type Pokemon. And, uh, you know what? Hmm, let's go with Return. Donatello doesn't really hate me that much. It loves me. And because of that, it is rewarded. Suck it, Krogunk. That's right. And, uh... Uh, Machoke's coming out. I'm gonna go straight to this guy right here. Because everybody needs... Everybody needs some experience points. Especially this guy, which, you know, he doesn't really battle, but he still gets the experience points. And, uh... Alrighty. Intimidate lowers his attack. And, yes, I did teach my, uh... My Hydra number four, Thunder. And, uh, look at that. Oh, my God. Paral paralysis. That's right, guys. And uh, why do you guys... Oh, God. I will never get this gym. Here we go. Thunder for the win. Oh, yeah. And uh, you are paralyzed. You cannot move anymore. So let's go with a twister attack right here. That's right. Don't waste any more thunder. Let's just go straight with twister. I think that's a move that you can't really uh, avoid, right? Well, when you're flying, you can't really avoid it. Alright, so, moving on forward right here, let's see, solving the puzzle is one thing. I think I should move that one towards the other side right here. There we go, and, uh, oh crap. Probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I messed up right here, I think. So I'm gonna have to push this guy back, and, uh, well, let's see. I probably have to move this forward. I have to give it momentum to hit those tires right there, that's... Okay, so this is the area that I usually get wrong. Yeah, I usually got wrong back in Pokemon, my my original Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. And uh, well, luckily I figured it. I, I I have it figured out right here. So I'm just gonna move this towards the other side, and just a little bit of a push, and then it's gonna break those tiles. Hence, breaking everything else right here. This is probably like the last big thing that we needed to do. So let's go right here, and we're gonna press this little bastard right here. Look at that, it's sliding all the way over there. And that will be able to break the the tires onto our right side of the screen. So I'm gonna press this guy just a little bit more, and look at that. So that's one more entryway. And I guess I have to battle this guy right now. All right, let's see what this guy has. Karate Dojo. Okay, bring it. 
And he has himself a Heracross. Okay, so that's another Pokemon that I couldn't beat with my Curlia back in a few episodes ago. But I can beat him right here with a return attack. I can. Let's go. The defense is down. Let's go with the return attack. My, his love is undying. And uh, that takes half its HP. Holy crap. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Let's go again with another return. And this guy coming out with his leer. How will that work out? I don't know. So here we go. Return attack for the win. No, not for the win. Okay, I see what you're doing here, you asshole Heracross. One more one more return, we'll do it. That's right, because technically Heracross does have the type advantage over me. And there you go. Suck it. And that's a lot of experience points right there. And guy, or Hydra number four grows to level 31, which is good too. Yeah, we're getting closer to like new moves. Awesome new moves. So let's push this punching bag right here. And uh, this will actually enable us to get to the last portion, or the last part, that will go, well, that will uh, be Maylin right there. So let's go press this guy right here. And look at that, everything's open. And now we just gotta push that one punching bag right there. And uh, all right, the Smackdown Show. It's about to start right now. I'm gonna push that one more time because there's the exit. And there you go. Alrighty. Alright, so before we do anything, I'm gonna heal up. Well, it doesn't need much healing, but I still need to heal up my Pokemon. I'm gonna switch out my Pokemon right here just to just you know to get type advantage. And here we go. Bring it. Pleased to meet me, Maylene. Uh, means to be strong, yada yada yada. She's a gym leader. She takes battling very seriously. So here we go, guys. Gym battle number five, I think. Four or five, probably. Quote me on that one. And she's turning Super Saiyan right here, and she will be coming out with her Metatype, which is again a curveball of the Pokemon world or fighting type Pokemon right here because it is both psychic and fighting. So what I gotta do now is I gotta switch to my Star Blade right here. Luckily, it is not a dark type Pokemon because you know, pursuit. Hate that move. And, uh, alrighty, alrighty. I lowered your attack. And, uh, that really doesn't do much. So, let's go again. Here you go. Aerial Lace. Will it take it out? Can it? And it does. Say goodbye to Meditite. Alrighty. Okay, everything's going well. And she's going to be coming out with her Machoke, so what I am going to do is I'm going to stay with Star Blade right here because Machoke in this one is a little stronger. So here we go, Aerial Ace. Come on, finish him off. You don't deserve to wear that championship belt. Uh-uh. And there's that rock, to, uh, rock Tomb attack for coverage right there. And uh, will it take out my Star Blade? Nearly does, but lowers its speed, which could prove, which could prove uh, costly for me on the next one because... She does have a very, very fast, strong Pokemon. Yes, you guys already know who it is. And uh, there's uh, experience points. And look at that. She's going to be coming out with Lucario. We already know what its weakness is. So I'm going to be switching them out. And I'm going to go with Hydra number four. Mainly because of the uh, lower, the attack, the attack stat right there. So here we have level 32 Lucario. It is both a steel and uh, fighting type Pokemon. Best way to defeat it is both... He is psychic, fighting, or yeah, fighting type Pokemon, believe it or not. Um, flying type, fire type, you know, that kind of stuff. But what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to take this approach. I'm going to beat him with Dragon Rage and a whole bunch of thunders. And here we go with the Force Palm on me. And it uh, doesn't paralyze me, but I will do this. That's right, Thunder Attack. Not for the win. Good God. All right, let's go again. And here he comes with the Force Palm, and that will not paralyze me. That's right. <laughs> Suck it, Lucario. You do not paralyze me. And there it is, guys. Another victory for us because we're freaking awesome. Look at that. She shall admit defeat, and I am strong. Very, very strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like the loss, and she learned a lot from it. So here we have the Cobble Badge. Take a look at it. Look at that. That's right. It's so shiny. Okay. It's a Pokemon Gym Badge. Now we can use Fly outside of battle, which eventually we will get. 
and uh, level 50 Pokemon will obey us, and we will be getting the TM60, which I believe is what? Drain Punch, which is a good move for any kind of fighting type Pokemon. It's kind of like a grass type move, you know? Punch the guy, drain him of his energy, getting HP back, which is also good. Alrighty, so we're done with this place right here. And, uh, well, now, now things are going to be picking up right here because storyline is about to change after this whole thing. Um, I think Don will be waiting for us right here, but let's talk to this guy. He's like, beat the gym leader, and I thought you would win. That's true. So after defeating Maylene, Don will be waiting for us outside the Veilstone gym, and she's like, can you help me? Team Galactics took my, uh, took my Pokedex away. Please help me. Okay. So we gotta go help out our girlfriend Don and getting uh, her uh, her uh, what you call her Pokédex back, especially from these uh, Team Galactic goons. So uh, let me show you my gym badge right here, guys. Let's see how many badges do I have? Oh look, okay, so it's four badges, guys. We have four badges. Now we got four more to go, and uh, yeah, we'll be almost done with this walk right here. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for the next episode. See you guys.